Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We've got uh, Manaki Gumadu, a legal practitioner, also joining us today on the same matter. Thank you for coming on this morning. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, the, the recall of this judges. Um, do you think it's a matter of morals or rules by the NGC? It's a mix of the two. Even more about the morals than the rules. Um, essentially because um, we've all seen how polarized the issue became when it broke out. Um, even up to this moment, we've all uh, you know, monitored the reactions of persons and how that has also impacted on the generally on the judiciary and the legal profession as a community. And so the question is simple. Um, to what extent is even those judges that are recalled sufficiently comfortably in the discharge of their judicial functions having regards to the continued investigation in some cases, the appeal of the, of the cases um, involving them. I, I had a particular experience appearing before one of the judges in Abuja shortly before he was suspended. And uh, in all fairness to him, uh, he requested that lawyers should, in the circumstance of what is happening, um, elect to either continue with him or refer their cases back to the CJ or the Federal High Court for reassignment. Now, you could argue that that was before the, the few steps that have been taken were initiated. Um, but you know, I have always maintained that in the study of legal jurisprudence as a cause, we have, we've always known <coughs> that the notion of justice itself disappears once you temper with the confidence that anchors that whole concept, that whole notion of justice. Once, the public, still... once the public mm -hmm. you know, becomes or finds themselves in doubt as to the integrity of the processes, as to the integrity of the, 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 the justice itself. Do you think the recall of the judges has, has uh, trampled on the integrity of, of the judicial <coughs> system? Well, I have made the point clear that even from the standpoint of the judges, and, and that's why your question, your first question was very apt, um, it also borders on those who are involved. And I, I can give you an example. In instances where a judge who, as expected, is neutral in a case, but finds that one of the parties before him or her um, is, a, is, a, is a related uh, by, either by way of family ties or whatever extraneous relationship. Most honorable judges don't wait until you bring an application of likelihood of bias. Uh, Honorable Justice uh, Atika Tinuke Ige, the wife of the former Attorney General of uh, the Federation, did exactly that. When a matter involving the Ohio State Government at the time where the husband was the governor was before her, he didn't need to allow the matter commence. You know, it, it is essentially because we have. Uh, we have a very sticky situation in our hands, one that has the capacity to undermine <coughs> the, the uh, efficacy of a system. Has any rules been breached? <laughs> well, that leads us to the next leg of your question, but if I may just land on this. You know, you will not be there. Uh, the country has become desperate in their quest for direct foreign investment, for foreign interventions in our local market and all that. You won't be there to tell them that this is how we con conduct ourselves, particularly with respect to the legal regimes and the justice system. 
it is from instances like this, it is from developments like this, that they make up their mind. That is as regards foreign investors. For the ordinary Nigerian who is out there, the question would be, has other persons, have other civil servants, other public servants out there who are interdicted on account of the situation they find themselves either by reason of uh, allegation, criminal allegation or investigation, have they also been recalled? That would become a poser. I, I ask. Sorry? And are they not two different matters? Uh, uh, justice, uh, Honorable Justice uh, Ademola's wife yeah. was the head of uh, uh, the civil service in, uh, in Lagos State. Uh -huh. Soon after the investigation broke out, I, th I think at the point where they were, uh, charges were preferred against her, she was suspended. She was not a judge. So I am making the point that there are, you know, there are categories of other public but are, you, are you leaving out the fact that, particularly for Justice Ademola and the wife, mm -hmm. they were discharged? They couldn't prove one case against them, except that, yes, they say they're on appeal. I, I'm happy you use the word discharge because I've had a couple of uh, persons, including lawyers, senior ones at that, saying they were discharged and acquitted. That cannot be. What because the matter is on appeal. No. What precisely happened was that when you bring an application based on a no-case submission, the most that can happen is uh, a discharge and not an acquittal. So, the so case meaning, meaning that the matter, uh -huh. meaning that the matter was not de determined on its merits, I, you know. I, That's you, the, the no case submission. Yes, you know when you succeed at the level of no case submission, it will mean that you were able to persuade the court to to see that all allegations, all evidence tendered all of what the prosecution had done cannot be sufficient to warrant the accused person entering his or her defense. So at that point, you'll be discharged, mm. but you cannot be acquitted. Now, what has become uh, consequential to that is the fact that uh, an appeal has been lodged. And as I understand, not just lodged, but in our technical terms, appeal has been entered, meaning the records of proceedings have been transmitted and entered at 